Yo, what's good, y'all? Back with another one. Oh my god! I thought I was gonna be mad about. I thought I was mad about the Chicago loss. That's fine. I can live with that one because that was a monsoon plus. You know what I mean? It's week one. But losing to Denver last night was just the tip of the iceberg for me. Like, I have no man. Jimmy Garoppolo, James Richard Garoppolo. I mean. How many more fucking times can you just completely wet the bed? Like, bro, like at this point, I'm fucking speechless. I know people are going to blame Kyle Shanahan. I know people are going to blame the offensive line. Yes, Trent Williams got hurt. But, bro, like even before Trent Williams got hurt, how many fucking throws did this dude miss that should have been fucking layups? And you talk about Trey Lance's fucking inaccurate. This is how I know some of y'all don't watch fucking games, yo. Like, he had Debo wide the fuck open on the curl route, yo. Wide the fuck open. And didn't even throw the fucking ball. He chooses to throw on the other side to Brandon Ayuk, who was blanketed by a fucking Patrick Sertan. Then he fucking missed him. He basically missed him. Well, even though it was caught, but... Debo should have fucking scored. If he would have just fucking just drove the ball, he stepped steps into the throw, it would have been a fucking touchdown when Debo had the matchup on the linebacker. But this dude is just flagrantly ignorant to making the right decision. I'm just being honest, yo. This is why I was this is why my fucking spirit went low when Trey Lance got hurt. Yes, Trey Lance still has stuff to improve on. I agree with that 1000%. But at least his hope. Trey Lance gives you other things that Jimmy can never dream of. I guarantee you Trey would have saw Debo on that fucking curl route because Trey actually scans the field. Jimmy J Jimmy Garoppolo is a one-read quarterback, yo. A one-read quarterback. If his first option is not there, he gets fucking happy feet. And he starts doing weird shit just like he got happy feet last night. So I don't even want to hear that shit. People call him out the offensive line. No, fuck that. He wasn't playing well before Trent Williams got hurt. So save those fucking excuses for somebody who don't watch football. Get the fuck out of my face, man. It's going to be a long season, bro. Like, I'm just being honest. I, I mean, I, uh, eventually I already know we're going to get to the playoffs and all that shit. I ain't worried about that. But I'm trying to win a Super Bowl, bro. The 49ers have been to five NFC Championship games in the last 10 years. I don't want to hear nothing about another NFC Championship game. I want to win the whole fucking Super Bowl, and this motherfucker is not going to do it, bro. I'm just keeping it real, man. Like, he's a fucking idiot on the fucking field. Like, come on, man. And then Kyle Shanahan with that whack-ass play calling yesterday, and people and, and people are killing him today, and, and they should. But Jimmy is just, Jimmy's a fucking goofball, man. It's just It's just what it is. Like, I don't even know what the fuck else to say at this point, bro. And people wanted people wanted him back over over Trey. People wanted that. And the, and the weather was fucking good. So I don't even want to hear that bullshit. Y'all talking about Trey put up 10 points in a fucking monsoon. Jimmy put up 10 in fucking perfect weather. And I don't know how many fucking throws he missed. Like, I can count on one fucking hand. The fuck out my face, man. Like, for real. And plus, and then on top of that, Trey can get out of sacks. He knows how to maneuver in the pocket. That's fucking sad that a fucking second-year guy with minimum starts knows how to maneuver in the pocket better than Jimmy Garoppolo can. But we're going to save that conversation for another day. But uh, all you fucking media members and all these other clowns that's out here, oh, you owe Trey Lance an apology. The fuck out my face, man. Because y'all tried to fucking... Y'all try to dump everything on him after week one. And then he got hurt in week two after it apparently, I mean, after it was apparent the 49ers were going to blow Seattle out no matter how, what the fuck was going to happen. But now this, come on, man. I don't even want to hear it no more, bro. Like, and I believe the 49ers will beat the Rams next week and people will forget that this game happened. Man, please, I ain't forgetting shit. Just like the Tennessee game last year. Like, when people was fucking down my neck for fucking destroying Jimmy after the Tennessee game. 
but come on, man. Like, you in year fucking six, dog, and you play like that, and you know the system, I have nothing else to say, man. I'm just frustrated, y'all, but y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.